spectacular. Um, he's one of the best players in the world. That's why we're excited to get him in, in Phoenix. And uh, he showed it tonight, 16, 21, 43 points. Played great defense. Came out of the gates sharing a basketball. I think he had three assists before he got a bucket and played the game the right way. Curious when you just look at just that start. How, how good was that for him to maybe get another guy involved first before he started to? Yeah, I mean that was that was completely on him. You know, he, he won the manage the game that way. Um, you know, uh, it's just about being aggressive and then reading the reading the defense. You know, what we preach with all the right guys all year. Um, he did a great job with that. Curious with the mask, uh, it didn't bother him tonight. Did he do anything differently with it? Any different feel? Or I didn't what? talk to him about it, so I don't think so. It's just a matter of getting used to it. I think. Curious. The other thing I had was just offensively the way you guys had it going. What would you feel like led to? Where you guys at least the first first half. Well, I thought we played the game with an edge that was lacking in Atlanta. You know, I think our guys were all uh, aggravated with how that game went. They all know that we didn't come out with the right disposition, and um, when you're getting stops and you're playing in the open court, we can be really dynamic offensively. Another thing I was was with with Paul Watson getting an opportunity. Just what you think of what he was? Yeah, he looked great. You know, he's really grown uh, from the time that we were working with him in the summer to, to trying to play within himself, uh, play the right way. And um, he gives us a whole different dynamic. You know, I mean, he's getting rebounds and tips and stuff that is just above everybody else. And, you know, you can see, see the, the skill set that he has. Coach, right. Uh, Coach, uh, what did you think just you guys playing this kind of game to close out a seven game road trip? That's important. You know, um, you can look at this team's record and, uh, and look at the, the guys that they had out of the lineup with injuries and, and easily come in and not, not be your best. But uh, like I said, you know, we had a great disposition because of how we played against Atlanta. None of us were happy with, with how that game went. So, um, you know, our guys came in and, and wanted to get this, this last game of the trip, but also wanted to get it for Brad. You know, I thought, I thought our, all of his teammates rallied around uh, his homecoming and, um, you know, all played a, a great game. What is it like for a coach to be able to see that, just the camaraderie with the team, the support for, that they had for Beal? Yeah, teamwork and togetherness shows up a lot of different ways you know, through, throughout the course of an NBA season. And um, one of them is, you know, when you have a teammate going back going back to play against his former team. And, you know, we all have former teams, but it's I think it's a unique situation with Brad coming back here, having been here 11 years, um, being a model citizen in this, in this organization, in this community. Being so so beloved here, and um, you know having it be his first game back, I think it's a little more unique than the rest of us going going back playing against our former team. So I was proud of how our guys rallied around that. Frank, you kind of mentioned um, Brad's unique situation coming back here. It's something he talked a lot about when he was here was obviously the hunger to win the title. How does he kind of discuss that stuff? His goals wanting to win like that um, with the Suns, where he's kind of a new voice and adjusting in the locker room too, but must be very motivated. Yeah, he's been very motivated to win at the highest level. You know, um, you know the, the messaging that I've communicated with him, um, that he's communicated to me, has been like I've I've done a lot uh, individually. You know, I've gotten a lot of individual accolades and, and scoring and, and All Star games and, and those types of things. And the biggest thing for him is to win at the highest level and have an opportunity to compete for a championship. You know, so he's had nights where he's you know he's had you know. 10 points, eight assists, great defense. And he's had nights where he's gone for 40, you know, and that's what he, he brings to um, to our team. You know, it's, uh, we, we want to have a three-headed monster where, you know, the team's coach doesn't know whether it's KD, Book, or, or Brad, or the role players, um, you know, they're going to dominate them that night. And uh, he carries that threat, and you saw it tonight. Coach, you started the road trip with a big win against Dallas, and you're ending the road trip with a big win, win against the Wizards. How do you feel like the team has evolved throughout the seven-game road trip? Well, we got healthier, and we made you know every every game that that those three guys get to play together. Having missed so much of the early part of the season, uh, every game that those guys get to play together, they get to learn each other just a, a little bit more. You know, so I think there was a lot of that going on on this trip. Candace, Candace Buckner. Um, understanding you guys were very big, and you want to play the right way. Uh, did you uh, have any temptation to leave them in, Oscar gets them? Uh, not really. You know, I, I, I was not even going to leave him in the start the fourth, uh, to be honest. So we left him in a few extra minutes. Um, but, you know, you have to approach the game the right way. And, you know, I, I didn't think that was the right, the right move at that point. Thanks, Coach. Okay. We have one to you. Yes. David Aldridge. <laughs>
Right. Oh. <laughs> now we all know each other now. Legends. Um, you've had to, uh, you've answered this question many times, I'm sure, but just the inability to have all three of them together for so long of a of the part of the season. How, most teams after the All-Star break really start to lock in. Are you, are you going to be able to do that, or is it still going to be, hey, we need some time to get to know each other? Every minute they're on the floor together helps. You know, and I don't know how many minutes we'll have. Hopefully, we we uh, we have the rest of the regular season. But you know, all those all those minutes together, you know, help uh, build that cohesion. Uh, we're at a continuity disadvantage, so to speak, against some other teams like the you know, the reigning champs, Denver. You know, who has everybody back and um, mostly everybody back. And uh, you know, so we're we're in a we're a team that's trying to build that cohesion throughout the course of the season. So. You know, hopefully we have as much of it as possible and you know our goal is to be the best team in the league come playoff time you know and use the regular season to build towards that thanks coach